guys welcome back to my channel equines underscore and underscore emma so today i'm going to be doing a video on my grooming routine so i thought this would be quite interesting so you know what i get up to grooming and also the stretch i have to do with gordon that the physio has asked me to do daily. So yeah, let's get right into it. I'll leave future Emma to do the voiceover. Right, so I've got Gordon in and before I set up his camera yeah. to video me doing the grooming session, I always give him a lick it every time he comes in, just as a reward for coming in. So yeah, first off I get in the grooming box and grab my body brush. This I um, use just to get rid of all the dust, just it's accumulated on him overnight. Uh, I don't really tend to, shouldn't use this on a field horse, but it just so happened, just how dusty he was when I put my fingers on him when I got him in. He just needed a bit of a flick over the body brush. So enjoy this few minutes of. Second even. So once I've groomed him, I then go and grab the next piece of equipment, which is a metal scraper, and I've just used the um, jaggy side just to get rid of any loose hair from his body. Uh, particularly where the saddle patch is from the hunting season. I do this every time I get him in, just so then he's a bit more comfortable when I get round to you attacking him up, or just in general if I need to put a fly rug on him after doing a bit of work. So yeah, that's what I'll be doing now. So now I have grabbed the men and tail spray. I can't remember what the name is, so I'll put an image up. I first spray it on his main brush and then give his main and forelock a good brush with it. And then I think I yep, now I just tie him back up a bit tighter because he's um, stretched a boat. He always does that because he uh, knows that he gets treats when he's a good boy. <laughs> Yeah, he gets a nice little pat. So yeah, I'll just be brushing the tail. Uh, this is quite a long bit, so I might add a bit of a video, not video, a um, bit of music in whilst you watch me do a bit of grooming the tail.
normally it does take me quite a long to brush his tail because I forgot to brush it yesterday because I was in a rush to tack him up so yeah he does enjoy his tail being brushed although he does move occasionally so yeah I'm just about finished doing his tail so once I've brushed through the tail a bit more I'm a bit pernickety I think yeah I then grab his it's like a rubber massager you just mass over the uh, mass over the massage over the horse's body, just so it can get his blood circulation working, so it just feels nice and relaxed. So yeah, just watch me do that for a few minutes. So as you can see here, Gordon gets very fidgety after a while, but that's normal for him. He just likes to constantly be doing something and then I just use a hand signal to say oi and whilst I'm still using the rubber massager thing I then get the dandy brushes to flick off any like remains of dust or grime that the rubber massager has brought up so yeah I'll just do the same the other side and I'll probably just put in a bit of music so you don't hear my boring voice all the time using those particular brushes I then return the rubber one and I get the metal curry comb and I just brush off all the hair off the dandy brush and then I go back to the grooming kit pop everything back in and then I return the metal scraper back to where it belongs So now I then return with one of our hoof picks just to get out any poo, stones or just dirt or grass from his feet. Obviously while I've been grooming I check for any lumps, bumps, scratches or heat and swelling that might have happened overnight. Um, also when you're hoof picking it's a good time to check for any bruises or stuff that's got stuck in the feet. You can see here he didn't want to pick his foot up so I just tend to give him a little tap on his tummy to say oi. just scrap his hoof dressing which I think this is the Kevin Bacon one but I can't remember the name and I just tend to put this on when I'm working him or doing something fun of him it's just to stop the hooves drying out in the summer especially with these dry hair conditions
that's all the grooming brushes and things I use to groom him. So yeah, I think, yeah, then I get the fly spray when it's really hot and warm and humid or just a really warm day just to fly spray him. Luckily he's very good to fly spraying so he doesn't have a care in the world as you can see. As you can tell, I forgot about the stretches. This is only the second time I've done it, so it's just getting into the routine of doing it every day. Okay. So yeah, I'm just getting a few tweets, probably be about two or three. And yeah, so this is the stretch I do, or I'm starting to do. First, I start with a treat, unclip him, and just encourage him to bring his head between his knees. Obviously he's a bit confused because it's only like his first or second time doing it. And he gets a nice pat and praise and another treat for being such a good boy. So I'll just clip him back on in case he escapes because you never know. He never does. So yeah, that's me all done and that's the finished product of my group routine. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, why not go ahead and give this big video <laughs> a big thumbs up. As it, I really appreciate it. And why not go ahead and subscribe so you can see interesting videos I post. As well as smash that, smash, smash that notification bell so you know every time I post a video. So yeah. I will love to hear any suggestions on what videos I should do. Just DM me on my Instagram, my Snapchat, or down in the comments below. I'll put my Insta and Snapchat as usual in the description below. So yeah, see you all next time. Bye.